advising 134 South Bounty has hit the strip, sir. I believe he's bailing out on foot just south of Pines Road. New video of a multi-county police chase that ended in Clinton County on Friday. The Ohio State Highway Patrol sent us this video today. It shows the moments an accused killer flies by another officer with a stolen truck. Inside was Jason Metcalf. Now authorities say he shot and killed another man, Timothy Vogel, in Brown County after a fight there. That chase then crossed multiple local counties. Deputies say once he was stopped, Metcalf took his own life. Tonight, Metcalf's family is expressing their condolences for the Vogel family. And as Kendria LaFleur reports, they can't help but wonder if they could have prevented the loss of two lives. I just know that the end result is a horrible tragedy to two families, uh, to a community, and really just another tragedy in our country. Greg Metcalf says his brother Jason was addicted to drugs like meth and heroin. He says Jason was never the same after using. He was a different person and um, you know he spent some time in prison because of it. He says drugs made Jason mentally unstable and violent and the last time he heard from his brother he was seeking help. I made him an offer to try to put the money together and to get him in the rehab and he didn't return my call and that was the last time I heard from him. And he shot him he came out and made me get out of the truck with his same gun and stole my truck. That shot killed Timothy Vogel. A chase followed <laughs> through multiple counties, ending when Metcalf turned the gun on himself. Wondering, we all say, always oh, second guess, how could we have helped and what could we have done? Um, but in reality, I think in our country, uh, it's a bigger problem that we really need to look at. Greg shared the tragedy on Facebook. Opening up about Jason's struggles with drugs online, he says it played a role in his behavior that day, and he hopes this will help someone before it's too late. Drugs controlled and consumed his life. Brown County's Board of Mental Health and Addiction Services says drugs often correlates with crime. We have definitely seen those who are arrested often have addiction issues. Meth, heroin, fentanyl, and opioids are some of the main drugs being used. Depending on the frequency and the potency of the drugs that they're using, you can definitely have brain chemistry changes. In essence, you're frying your brain. Greg describes addiction as a disease, one that took over his brother and ended in tragedy. He says a discussion is the first step towards prevention. And maybe can do something to save one life, one family from going through what we're going through, what Timothy's family is going through. Kendra LaFleur, WCPO 9 News.